Hello, welcome back to Tech It. It's been a long time because I had my mic switched off and recorded like 10 videos and I didn't feel like going back and voicing, adding voice to all of them without, that had been recorded without. So, uh, last time, the last video where I actually did record sound, I was working on the canning cellar over here which is now fully functional so we'll take a look at that got the canning machine in the middle with 19 rotten flesh we've got a relay up above which has something I think some bread and then eight apples waiting in reserve uh, that's a transformer to bring medium voltage down to low voltage and power comes in this side and we're feeding cans in the bottom and foods into the relay to the top and then behind it you see a tube in the back that's taking uh, full cans back out and bringing them back in to the shed where I picked them up at the beginning. So you can see there's a accelerator right there just because we've got mag tubes coming in. Uh, I think there's one yeah there's one that's powered right there that's sending things back out so I've got two sets of mag tubes in and out and then a uh, jacketed blue wire bringing in the power for that all from over by the storage shed I'm gonna grab some more flax seeds and string while I'm here with that I actually put the seeds in my inventory um, no new crops to speak of. I've done some, but nothing much has happened. I've tried a few times to grow something else in place of those between these two. I keep trying to crossbreed those, and I'm not having that much luck. So I might just take whatever grows next and be happy with it. Let's take a look at the power station next. Um... So it's got power coming out. I may not have shown you this. This is glass fiber cable. It can hold higher voltages. Uh, I also have an electrolyzer here. I use this to electrolyze water cells, which I had to make. Well, I'll show you what those are for later. I had. Uh, it has to go next to an energy storage unit. It can't be having wires fed into it. It doesn't know how to work otherwise. So this unfortunately it has to look like that unless maybe I build another uh, MFE and put it down there oh my wrench is in there put that away I probably should build another MFE and put it down there so I had had the yeah I had built this last time but this wasn't here and neither was the cable going down all right so that splits uh, the one going off that way, I'll show you where that goes, and then it continues down, and you can see it start to curve this direction. So that's actually going all the way over underground to the canning cellar. Then my other machines I put in the machine shop. So I built this. It has a uh, mag tube comes in the top, and we've got pneumatic tubes with uh, four different colors up here feeding into relays just like we saw in the canning machine but now I've upgraded these machines to the rotary macerator which goes faster and I dropped the alloy furnace in here because when the relay loads things in if this slots full it'll put things in this slot which is dumb so stuff the alloy furnace in there just because I'm not using it and I need something this slot does not mean it macerates two things at once. That's a combination slot for doing things like making brass. I put four copper in here and one tin. It grinds the one tin with the four copper and gives me four bronze dust. So that's something different. This switch is on. That means that it stays at full speed even when there's nothing to do. And so similarly there's the induction furnace. This actually will heat or smelt cook or smelt two things at once 
and then it's got two output slots. Similarly, this has two output slots, so if one gets full, it will start using the other one. But here, the left slot and the right slot are linked to the left slot and the right slot. Then on the other side, I've done something similar. Centrifuge extractor, one input gives you three outputs, so if you weren't pulling things out of here, then you could put one you could put a full stack of resin here and then make three full stacks of rubber and keep them all in there. Uh singularity compressor is just the faster compressor. And there's some overlap going on there, but that's fine. Um just one to one here. So that's pretty self explanatory. Then uh we've got on the lower level we've got three tubes that pull out from the back of all four machines and then into an accelerator and this wire and mag tube along with this mag tube go back to near this building. I've also I made the unsorted chest a crystal chest so when something goes through and doesn't get sorted anywhere else I'll see it and I made this ender chest which is just a normal sized chest I've colored it like the Irish flag. I can't remember if I'd done this for the last video. I don't think I did. And this is paired with the Ender Pouch, which right click on the chest to set its three colors the same as that chest. And right click opens, notice that chest opened when I opened the pouch. And I can put things in here and they'll get sucked out just as if I'd put them in that chest. Hang on to these seeds though. So everything's sorted. I've even got it set up to take ores and automatically send them ores and dust and things and automatically send them to the appropriate machine over in the machine shop and then bring them back and sort them in the right chest. So I spent a lot of time digging tunnels and laying tubes and wires. So there isn't I'm not going to like dig that all up and show you again, but they're running underground. I won't see them. The, the mag tubes make it go pretty fast, so that's good. I had to build a whole lot of that. I may have also done some mining, but I'll probably just do that again. Um, I haven't been over to the rail factory in a very long time. So basically, you didn't miss much unless unless you like seeing me dig deep dark tunnels to move things around uh, to lay pipes. Yeah, this is basically the same. Pipes which are called tubes. I still haven't done anything with that. I still haven't made any steel. But part of the reason for that is I wanted to start running my ores through. So let me see how full this is. Yeah, it's a little bit full. Take out some flint, because flint's not all that useful. And I'm just going to throw it in here. Again. Oh boy, look at that. We've almost filled up this uh, energy condenser, I think that chest is called, with red matter. All right, now I've got space for, let's take nine stacks of ore. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And, oh, right, right clicking on this with the pouch won't open it because it's just setting the colors. Oh, that's gone. It'll just show up in misc items, it's fine. Or unsorted items. So I'll wait. I accidentally put my black hole band in there. It should show up in unsorted because the sorting machine doesn't have instructions to put anywhere else. So I'll wait for that for a minute and then we'll go... There it is. Now we'll go have a look at the machine shop. So you can see copper dust is flowing out of the macerator already. 
It's completely full of copper. The relay is holding more copper, tin, silver, iron, gold, and iron. And now you can see that the dust is flowing into the furnace relay, which is sending out um, copper ingots. And you can also see how much faster this is. It's, it is actually managing to get dust in there faster than it's turning it into ingots. And if we wait long enough, this will fill up and then it'll start using this. This one can be more copper or it can be copper here and something else there. It's able to do it either way. If, you, if you're putting things in here yourself, you're better off splitting it like this because, see, now it's doing two. And sometimes two stack up over here before it pulls any out. We're still doing copper there. Uh, these are basically going to work the same way, so I'm just giving you that little demo. And if we look over here, sort that, nothing's coming in there. You can see a bunch of copper bars coming in. So, that's the sorting system. It is all done. Finally. Oh, also the thing with this ender chest uh, and the pouch. I can use this pouch while I'm mining, while I'm down in tunnels. And I can dig up a bunch of ore, fill up my inventory, and be like, oh, I don't want to go back yet. And just throw stuff in my ender pouch, which will show up. Was it a pouch? Yeah, it's a pouch there, but if you open it, it says ender bag. So, you can I suppose you can call it either. So that's what that's for. Um, that's pretty much all I have to show you of what I have done. Uh, let's see, I think I have... I may have made some more sheep. I have like a pink one. I think that one's pink. So... Most stuff is the same. Ah! Weeds! I get so many weeds there. I'm gonna sleep and then I'm gonna build more crop sticks. Oh no! Can't sleep now! Zombies will eat me. Okay, sleeping. Then for some crop sticks, it will save the farm. Um, I'll also show you some recipes. It would help if I use the right stick recipe. Alright, so crop sticks. Back to the farm. And we're cross. Okay, so... Allow me to put some things away. So I can stand over here and put that stuff in. The run. Oh, it doesn't always update quite right. Uh, I was going to do something else. I thought. Maybe I wasn't. Well, anyway. This is what the village looks like right now. I still have this kind of monstrosity over here. I don't like that thing. Probably going to tear it down at some point. So that's what's been done. So that gets you caught up to date from the videos. Oh wait, let's take a look at the sorting. So I've actually completed this room back here. And there's still there's some bars piping through. You can see it working. So I've got glass covers on the top just to make a flat reasonable solid floor. I've got a total of four sorting machines. So this is light blue chest, you know, for bars, gems, and dust, and such. And then I've got brown chest, which continues into this sort of machine. And then green chest, which continues into here. That's always my most items. Orange chest, uh, light gray is just the cans. This is machines, you know, they're basically the same order. Uh, pink is food. 
dark gray is macerator, which is empty right now. And then there's a bunch of ores for macerator. Red is for the furnace, yellow is for the extractor. Oh, the furnace has dust to turn into ingots and raw meat, which I don't have a raw chicken or a raw steak right now. And then rubber wood sticky resin to extract rubber from, and raw carbon mesh to compress into carbon plates. So the way this works is it just snakes around until one of the sorting machines knows where to send it. If the last one doesn't know where to send it, it just ends up in unsorted. Oh, you see now we've got gold and iron coming through. So the furnace must be burning both of those right now. I had to put these wood plank covers in so that this pipe doesn't connect to this pipe. And the same over here. I've also got an accelerator down there. That's what sends things out to the machine room. So you can see those things just going straight down. This accelerator you saw, that's going to the chest. Uh, the ones to the chest also sends to the canning area. So that's everything that's different. Uh, we'll take a look at this. I also filled in, since there was a whole bunch of areas that Oh, there's another one. Uh, little ledges that animals can manage to fall on and not get back off of. So I filled in with some dirt, most of that. But I see there's one spot here that's got the same problem. So I'm going to go get some dirt and fix that. And you can see this chest continuing to fill up. I even have some gold up there. Uh, sometimes if you middle click on something it will pick it up. So that's continuing to fill up. Oh, I didn't grab any dirt. Uh, 22 dirt, why not? And I'll eat a can of food. Which I then throw the empty in the, the ender bag pouch right away. I was also filling in weirdness like that. Oh, sheep, you found a spot where you can't escape. Not supposed to do that. I also found out you can't really kill the sheep with the red Qatar because, well, it seems to make them angry. It doesn't, it, on, it seems to only shear them. So I, I brought this out a little bit. And it's still growing grass but that's so that I have actually some dirt all the way around that building I actually would like to do that up here too because that looks a little weird with the dirt wall so I'll, oh, I'll run out of dirt apparently just to give it a little more substance. Now I still have this dirt wall. I'll probably flatten that out some. But there you have it. That's what's been done. Um, let me go back in the machine shop and I'll show you how these things are made. Oh and this switch in between controls both of those. I think I explained that. Um, so recipes. Oh, the reason that this isn't connected to there is because this tube runs across and then down here. And this is actually, you can sort of see the edge of the outline, the line moving here. This is just a cover and a cover and then on the outside there's also a cover. Uh, I can put this wall away. And we'll check out the recipes. So, macerator, rotary macerator, takes the normal macerator in the middle, an advanced machine block, and then refined iron. So they're all basically this recipe. Tier 1 machine, advanced machine block, and 7 of something around it. So, I don't think I'd made an advanced machine block before. That's a machine block, which I have made. 
with carbon plates on the side, and if you remember way back to when I made my um, nano suit armor that I'm wearing, that was made of carbon plates. Uh, advanced alloy on the top and bottom, which is compressor on mixed metal ingots, so it's layers of other ingots. Uh, so that's the macerator, and then similarly you have the induction furnace, so it upgrades the electric furnace, advanced machine blocks surrounded by copper. Uh, the, the different thing is the compressor. So, nope, not the compressor. That's obsidian and everything else is the same. The extractor, which is what I was thinking of, I just said the wrong word. So this one's surrounded by electrolyzed water cells. And if I try to get the recipe on that, it doesn't give it to me. But basically, you want a cell, empty cell. You get 16 of those by placing four tin like this. You take the empty cell over to a water source and right click to fill it up just like you would a bucket to make water cells. And then water cells go into the electrolyzer, which is that machine I showed you inside the power station. This one back here. And that's how you make electrolyzed water cells. And I'm actually going to take out the electrolyzer because I don't plan to actually use it again. So I'll just store that in here. Actually, I'll put it over there. And then charge this back up. There we go. So I'll take that out because that way I can put a solar panel, solar array up, solar panel or array up here and wire it into this MFE. Which is Is that actually losing power? It is. But I think I'm still processing stuff over here. Am I? I'm not. Where's all that power going? Better make some more power. I'm going to run all out. I'm not going to be able to build anything else. Yeah, look at that go. Maybe when I quit, it unloads the machines, and then they stop training power. So, I should make a solar array. So that's from solar panels. 3 times 8 is 24. So, there's 24 coal. I also need 24 glass, which I actually have. Generators, electronic circuits, sleep. Oh, it is night. Come on. So I can't send coal directly into the macerator or to its relay because sometimes you need coal that's not coal dust. All right. Sleeping time. So I'm going to quick as quickly as I can make a solar array and you'll see that it'll be much faster than it was the last time I did it. So there's eight furnaces that are going to go toward making generators which needs a machine block and an RE battery. So a machine block is eight refined iron and I need eight of those so I need an entire stack of iron to go in the furnace just for making uh, machine blocks and then the batteries which that recipe lookup doesn't work, needs 16 redstone, 32 tin, 16 redstone, 32 tin, 
And then I'm going to need eight wire. Uh, just copper cable. I don't have any of that. So that means I need 16. Um, wait. Eight, eight wire, I make six, that means I need 12. So that's six copper. Let's make the refine the machine blocks. And then I need two for each, that makes six and 12. So this I can just throw in here because I put sticky resin recipe in there. And now I'm going to get enough to make the circuits. So I need two circuits for each one. So that means 16 circuits, so 16 refined iron, 32 redstone, and 16 more sets of copper cable. Oops. 32 redstone. 16 more iron. And 16 sets of copper cable. 16 times 3 is 48. And then 16 times 2 for this is 32. Except I already have some rubber. Eh, that'd be fine. Make some more. And then I gotta go refine this iron. To make those circuits. This goes so much faster, doesn't it? So I split that up to get through it faster. I already have all the coal dust by now. Yep. Rubber should start showing up in here pretty soon. Oh, here's the glass fiber cable. It's one diamond for each four bunch of glass and two redstone. So one diamond, two redstone, basically, because the glass is pretty simple. So lots of wires. Still not done. And that's it. Nope, it's not quite it. One more. And I don't need the rest of this rubber, so I can just put it back in the under chest. Alright, let's make some batteries. Eight batteries. Machine blocks and furnaces. So there's generators. Oh, I should have refined iron. And now, a bunch of circuits. 16 circuits, generators, glass goes that way, coal goes that way. There's eight solar panels. So now, to make a low voltage solar array, I also need a low voltage transformer. So three more copper and two wires. I have two wires already in here. And four pieces of wood, or planks, which I don't have, so I need to go chop down another tree. But let's grab three copper. And chop down a tree. All of them are tall trees now. This one's not that tall. And there's get wood again. Whoops. Stop playing. Tall 
Tall trees are kind of nice. I like them. Those away. And wood in the corners. Low voltage transformer surrounded by solar panels is a low voltage solar array. And I'm going to grab this. Careful with that. I've taken out the walls numerous times. Put cable down there and another solar array. So if we look in here, that's now connected through wire. The other one's connected directly. And hopefully, yes, the power level is once again going up. Okay, crisis averted. I think I'll be okay on two low voltage arrays. But like you saw, it didn't take me all that long to make another one. So I can always do it again if I need to. So that's it for now. It shows you what I've been up to and also gives me faster power generation, which is good because I've been draining it uh, faster than I've been making it. So next time I may make another one of these so I can plug up the hole in the floor or I might do something else. I have another idea which is to... oh look at these, they're not fully charged. Let's fix them up. So these are all upgradable. Ah, Can't shift click them onto wearing them. So if I look at hit the U key for uses I can upgrade nano suit helmet to quantum suit helmet. That needs me to make some crazy weird stuff, but I'll do that. I may do that next time. I need to get iridium, so I won't do it next time. Because if you look at this, diamond, iridium ore, advanced alloy. We don't know how to get iridium ore. There's no recipe for it, but I know how to make it. You don't find it in the ground. You fabricate it with a mass fabricator. So next time I will probably show you the mass fabricator. I do have this kind of brick in there but I'm going to run it through just in case it's not in the sorting machine. Oops, wrong thing. There's a tin can. So next time I'll have a couple cans of food show up and possibly that type of stone bricks. I will see you next time.